Can you remember the things we used to do? I'll draw your picture, send a message to the moon. be a part of a baby's life. That's your right. And I want you to be there for them. But I want you to stay at school, go to uni, and be everything you can be, Paul. You've been talking to Dad. Yeah, I have. But we both agreed. Now he doesn't have to tell me what to think. So that's it? We'll never be together like real parents should be? I can't tell the future. <laughs> then maybe one day you might change your mind. Maybe. But I wouldn't count on it. I'm so sorry, really. But I honestly think it's for the best. I know he's not your kid. Yeah, thank goodness. Because as far as I can tell, the kid's a total delinquent. Yeah, but what if he was? Your kid, I mean. Like, how would you feel if Emily rocked up and told you she was pregnant? Uh, out of breath, I reckon. Because I'd be running for my life, mate. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, you'd freak out at first. But... Do you reckon you'd get used to it? Get the whole idea of being a dad? Why are you asking all these questions, Paulie? Hey, you back early? Apparently everybody spent the entire afternoon bursting into tears. Huh. It'd just been Gabby's turn when I got there. What was wrong? Some blow up about something. I thought baby showers were supposed to be fun. It was a baby shower? Yeah, at Gab's place. I've got to go. Whoa, hey, what's going on? Paul, what's the matter? Where's Gabby? Hey, you heard a knocking? Where is she? She's a little bit upset at the moment, Paul. What are you doing in here? Look, I heard you were upset. I tried to stop him. Can everyone just get out of here? You've got to talk to me. What is this about? Hey, she's asked you guys to leave. Because I want to be part of this, Gabby. Part of what? Hey, Poppy! Please, just leave me alone! I want this baby. Right. Gab. Gabby! Gab, wait! I can't believe you just did that! I didn't mean to say it. I didn't want anyone to know. I didn't mean to say it, but I meant what I said. I want to be a part of this. You can't handle it, okay? You already told me that. I can. Yeah, I mean, I freaked out at first. But now that I've thought about it, yes, I am ready to be a father. And I will do whatever it takes to prove that to you. You don't know what you're saying. But I do know. I want this more than anything. I know it's going to be hard, but we can do this together, Gab. I miss you so much. Look, all the reasons we broke up, none of it matters. I want this baby and I want you too. Gab, I promise you, I will do whatever it takes to make this work. Poor kid, she's so worn out. He's put his whole heart into her, hasn't he? Yeah, anything Dad builds, he wants it to last. Means our kids can pass it on to their kids. <laughs> Still can't get my hand around it. I know. You're me, parents. Do you have any thoughts about what you want? Boy or a girl? I don't know. I think maybe a girl. Really? Yeah, well, I see the way Jared is with Zoe. Uh, she's always wanted a little sister. That's not going to happen anytime soon. What about you, boy or girl? I don't mind, really. As long as the baby's healthy and happy. No, 
Oh, well, let's face it, with my genes, this kid is going to be perfect. <laughs> well, as long as they inherit their mother's modesty, they'll be fine. <laughs> In a few weeks ago, as far as Zoe knew, her life was never going to change. Look, I know it's hard to say now, but one day she'll be stronger for it. What? Well, this thing you do. You always find something good, something positive. Yeah, well, it's not like there isn't enough wrong with the world. Yeah, but you see it in everyone, you know, everything, even me. <laughs> I hope you're not fishing for a compliment, mister. Even when we're apart, Gab, I never stop loving you. I don't know if you feel the same way about me, but... <laughs> what? I just know that we're a good thing. And, you know, good things like us... Yeah, they don't come around very often. Oh, I'm going to start to hear violins in a sec, Paul. Gab, will you marry me? I love you. And nothing is ever going to change the way I feel. You know I love you. Look, so say yes. Getting married isn't that simple. It can be. There's just so much going on at the moment, Paul, Look, Tracy. That's exactly why I don't want to wait. You know, I think about what she's done and how everything is messed up. You're the best thing in my life. And I don't want to miss a minute of it. Look, you, me, our baby, we belong together as a family. Yes. Yes, I love you and yes, I will marry you. You mean it? <laughs> You're amazing, I swear you're so amazing. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I still can't believe it. You said yes. Oh, well, you know, you're smart and you're funny. <coughs> Sometimes. <laughs> and you're cute. So you just marry me for my body, right? Yeah. I'm really bad to mm -hmm. So, who should we tell first? Your family or mine? And maybe we should just leave it for a bit. Yeah, because that worked so well for us last time around. Oh no! It's just once we start telling everyone, they're going to give us the look. Since when did you care about what people think? Mm, we're going to have first scan tomorrow. Everything's just moving so quickly. Okay. We'll just tell our families. Your folks, whereabouts in the world are they? Seychelles. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even have phones out there? <laughs> no. Well, unless you're too embarrassed to admit that uh, you're marrying your toy boy. Dream on, honey. Oh, that's the boss here. Guns, baby, I got guns. <laughs> no, it's breaking my heart. Yeah, well, you didn't see Zoe's face at the hospital yesterday. All we can do is take it one step at a time. Hey, hey Dad. Should you be at school? Free period. Gabby's got the morning off too. Everything okay? Yeah. Uh, there's something we want to tell you. Uh, we wanted you to be the first to, to know. Um, last night, uh, Paul asked me to marry him. What? Yeah, she said yes. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, come here to it, Dad. That is awesome. Oh, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> um, before you ask, Dad. We're really happy about this. So, so it's... Well, that's, that's good news. Yeah. Yeah, and we could certainly use some good news now. That's right. <laughs> and I know we haven't done things the right way around. No, you are fine, and welcome to the family. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Bobby. Yes, I will tell Ron that you are running late. Hey, Ron. Poppy is running late. <laughs> Everybody looks strangely happy. Oh, that's because this guy and this girl are getting married. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? Yes. Hey, Poppy, guess what? Yeah, Paul and Gabs are getting hitched. Oh, no. All right, okay, I gotta go. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, I'll call you back. Where's the love? <laughs> oh, and that's from Poppy for not telling her first. Nice. <laughs> <sighs> well, I know this is bad timing, but I've really got to head off. I'm meeting Tess. I'm her new birthing partner. Ooh, mm. yeah. <laughs> And that's going to be messy. Lots of crying, screaming, buckets of blood. Not with your kid, though. You have no idea who did I don't have to. I'm the man. <laughs> uh, Gab, uh, about Tess, uh, if you ever made a commitment... I kind of did yesterday. Yeah, but if you back out, she still has time to find another birthing partner. Why would I back out? Well, I'm not saying you should, if that's what you want. Okay, you're really confusing me now, Paul. <laughs> it's just, we've got a baby on the way... 
And I don't know, I just thought it's our first time. You and our first time to be all about us. Yeah. Am I out of line for like, thinking like that? Not at all, baby. Leave it to make it. Thanks. I just want every moment to be special. <laughs> I got lip gloss, haven't I? Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. Thank you. Lip gloss. It's a white thing. All right, here we go. Come on, hug it out. Oh, yeah. You didn't tell Jared? I didn't seem like the right time. No? The nurse says I have to have my blood full for the scan. Now you get the easy part of making a baby. No, I'm not complaining. Mm. Hey, you reckon this place is going to be big enough? For what? Well, for us, once the baby comes, we're all going to fit. And those stairs are going to be a killer with a pram. True. Maybe we should start looking to rent a place. You know, something bigger, with a backyard. Maybe. Oh, we don't have to worry about it now, when you're ready. I just love this place, that's all. Come on, drink up. We're going to be late. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> You both ready? Are you kidding? We're so excited. <laughs> Today, we'll be checking for the baby's heartbeat and correct growth size. Oh, the way Gabby's been eating. This kid is going to be huge. Hey! Or we could have twins. Well, one's enough, thank you. Don't even joke about it. Tell him I've got nothing to worry about. That's the baby there. It's the one. That's the heartbeat there, right? something up? Not necessarily. But you're saying maybe. I just have to speak with someone. It won't be long. This is going to be so great, Gab. Yeah. How long do we have to wait? I mean, she leaves the room, she doesn't tell us what's going on. Gabrielle and Paul, I'm Dr Harling. The technician, she said there might be a problem. I've had a look at the scans of your baby and I'm afraid they have revealed a significant complication. You have what is called a partial molar pregnancy. It's a rare condition. It happens when two sperm fertilise the same egg. The baby, it's going to be all right. Looking at your ultrasound, the level of genetic abnormality is too high. I'm afraid your pregnancy isn't viable. No, um, if there's anything you can do to save the baby... No, I'm sorry. In your situation, there's no alternative. You will need to terminate the pregnancy, Gabrielle. We're going to lose the baby. <laughs>